So hi guys, right, really interesting video here for you. And we're looking at the downswing, what the shoulders do in transition. It's gonna help a lot of you shallow out the plane, really finding a better slot here. And uh, we're gonna take you through it with a couple of really, really interesting drills to help you get that downswing position that you're after. And there's so many of us out there not coming down the correct fashion. There's quite a bit of information out there there. But in this video, we're gonna be really looking at some wonderful clips and a couple of, well, a great drill that I'll show you coming up just in a second to really help uh, understand how to get this downswing happening and what the shoulder actually does and how the lead shoulder and the trail shoulder work together. It's a really, really important part of the golf swing will take you through it. Now, not a bad strike on that. Right, guys, let's get this swing moving and working more effectively as we look at the shoulder planes and how they really affect your downswing and the club shaft and plane. So guys, getting our shoulders to move like the tour professionals, like the, the very solid ball strikers out there, there's obviously some averages to these movements. And we're gonna take you through some of these in the video and give you that backup, that evidence-based material to get some trust and get some understanding of this is where, you know, the best ball strikers are. And this is where we need to be. Now, the closer you get to these positions, the better you're gonna hit the ball. Now, if I take my back swing and I, I get up to the top and I have a, like a line running down these shoulders, you wanna be getting the shoulder plane about a meter or a yard over the golf ball okay and that would be around a 40 degree now some people have their arms lower some people have it on the shoulder plane some people have them higher that just depends on your sort of your swing style but to get your shoulders to work really effectively you're looking at getting keeping that left shoulder down and under your chin right now with this move uh, into the backswing here when I get that you can see that my chin my mouth is free now you think about it like it's a it's a, a little bit of a funny thought, but if you had lipstick over your lips, you'd be seeing, you know, sort of a look like we start to get like this, but when we get the lipstick on the shirt, but when we get down into that position, you know, we start to really force this lead shoulder down underneath us. It's a, it's a bit of a thought, obviously, but it's going to bring your body into uh, some wonderful parameters to get yourself moving more efficiently. And uh, one of the things that happens in the golf swing is when you put a positive move into the swing, you know, you get about three or four things given to you. And the same applies when you, you make one mistake, you know, about three or four screws fly out and we get all sorts of different chain reactions happening, unfortunately, in a, in a negative way. So guys, you know, looking at getting your, your tilts, your correct, getting your turns inside some of these uh, averages of movement. And uh, it's something that we've spent a lot of time on uh, in world-class golf as we start to really show people the, the true inner workings of a golf swing and really helping people hit the ball a lot, lot better. Guys, let's have a look now at some evidence-based material in slow motion and give you guys a better chance of understanding what's happening in this area. Now, the thing that happens, in fact, through the ball is we steepen the shoulder plane, okay? Now, you're going to get a few degrees extra, 10 to 15 degrees more, and, and if you get this move from the top, which I'm gonna show you, this is what helps shallow out the plane and gets your hands and wrists moving effectively. Don't forget, unfortunately, if we're pivoting to level, the left shoulder's high, and to get any compression at all, we need the right shoulder high, and that's absolutely a completely, complete disaster and just won't work from there. Right, now looking at this drill from the top of the swing, what we're gonna be looking at doing is when we get about a meter outside the ball, we're actually gonna get a little bit of a, a looping effect here. And when we get down to impact, we're gonna have the right shoulder lower. Okay, watch that again. We get to the top of the swing and we're just gonna loop it slightly underneath. We're gonna get the left shoulder to move up and under and get this right shoulder down. Now I'm gonna show you a drill here with a long bamboo stick. You can use your driver. It's also more effectively. You have gotta create this feel, put it into a practice swing and hit some golf balls. Let's have a look now with this tour stick or a driver and this bamboo stick over my shoulders and we'll get a better gauge of what's going on. So I run right before I show you the drill to create the feels and sensations to get your shoulders moving 
like a PGA Tour professional, goes, have a look at this evidence-based material. And I can take you quickly through a couple of great players here. Top of the swing, what a ball striker, Adam Scott, right? Look at the shoulder plane here. We'll draw a line down. It's 42 degrees. Now, the two average, they've measured this, right? It's biomechanics. 39 to 45 degrees. That's a very small corridor, and they're all in there. But what's interesting, you might not have seen this before. Look at the club face control here. Let me draw it down. What have we got down in this position here? 42 degrees. Isn't that remarkable? Now, guys, when you create this structure, you can get close to this position at the top of your swing. It's really hard not to hit good shots. No, seriously. Now, obviously, lately we've been talking about if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. The club face control, we need to, you need to get club face control, path and low point. These three things to hit solid shots. That's just a fact. To propel a golf ball consistently down the line. Now, you might not have TrackMan, you might not have FlightScope, but you've got a mobile phone. And on worldclassgolf.com, we've been showing people really estimating numbers and, you know, getting closer and closer to these positions. Really, the, the feedback has been overwhelming. Online lessons... You know, it's almost a full-time job now. I'm teaching people from all around the world, and it's just been great to help so many people. Now, let's have a look through the ball when we look at the shoulders steepening. You know, when we get around, a good checkpoint is when your arms are around parallel to the ground here. And if I pop a line down here, we're going to see it's around straight into the ground, 59 degrees. So you see that the shoulders are steeper. All right, and this has a wonderful effect on your wrist alignments, your plane, your elbows, the engine room, you know, looking at the shoulders. And how many tool pros are we seeing in positions like this? You know, when we get to the top of the swing, we're looking at numbers and crunching numbers. You know, we're looking at the swing in this. Well, we sort of see that the shoulder plane, once again, you're just not really finding any players outside some of these averages here, 43 degrees. And then getting to the top, looking at that club face position down again. It's gonna be very, very close, maybe a degree or two, 42 degrees. And then through the ball, once again, you know, bring that club in behind the hands. There's the slot position that I just showed you. And on the other side, you know, we're getting around arms parallel to the ground here. When we draw a line down from the shoulders, you know, you're going to be seeing, well, look at that, isn't it amazing? 59 degrees. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. Now they will differ, differ slightly. We've got Sneed at the top. I think he's about a about 42 or 43 here. And what a what a golfer this guy was. You know, he's drawing a line down here. What do we have there? Sorry, I just missed that. We've got a 41 and then through the ball, not as Steve, I believe there with Snee, we're probably not far away though, are we? We're at 55. But just where are your shoulders, guys? You know what I mean? Like, I've been able to improve so many people here when looking at these areas. All right, well, when you're looking at this drill, I mean, it's giving a, a bit of a look here of what's actually, you know, happening in regards to this plane. Here's the sensation that I want you to create. You know, you're swinging back, you can take your drive, you can pop it on your, on your chest here. I've just got the bamboo stick here. We'll draw this line down, we've got around 41 degrees, but when you sort of see, you know, this little bit of a loop here that I do, and then we bring it back down, it gives you a sensation of what your shoulders are doing, up around 59 degrees there on the way through. But if you can just see this little bit of a loop here, guys, you see that little bit of a loop that I'm doing here? And if I put a little couple of lines here, perhaps on the club face, and you can sort of see it goes from here, and it sort of just loops back up a little bit, that's the sort of the, the sensation that we're after as we go, keep the shoulder down and then get this shoulder up. And you get a feeling of, of this move here when it's actually doing this move, you know, the weight might go a little bit out in this direction. It's a, it's a drill to help people come from the inside and get that left side extension through the ball, apply that, pop it into your practice swing and then hit some shots. Guys, thanks for watching. Really interesting when you're looking at evidence-based material and how to get yourself closer to these positions through the use of you know, filming your swings, instruction. As I said, guys, online lessons, craigansergolf.com and worldclassgolf.com. There's a special deal there for the members. It's only $20 more, you've got a 1,000 videos and your online lesson, something to really look at, get your golf moving in the right direction. Thanks for watching. See you next time.